Welcome to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm George, and in today's video, I'll be talking all about the new features of PDF Element for iOS. From now on, you'll have two new ways to create PDFs directly on your iPhone, using images or Microsoft Office files like Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. So no matter where you are, you can comfortably share, read, interact, or even edit your documents. Let's start with what's probably the most common scenario, converting an image to PDF. Imagine you've taken a picture of a physical document and you want to send it to a colleague for them to read, make some annotations, or even to edit it. Although this process is essentially the same as scanning a sheet of paper, requesting your colleague to annotate or edit it would entail using image editing software. I'm sure you'd agree that this is not exactly the most efficient approach. Well, there's a much better solution. Start by opening the PDF Elements app and go to the Tools tab. In this tab, you'll find a bunch of interesting and powerful tools, but the one we're particularly interested in right now is the Image to PDF tool in the Convert to PDF section. This tool allows you to access the photo gallery on your device and use your images to create PDFs. Simply select one or more images and tap the Add button. At this point, all that's left is to give the document a name. Choose an order for the pages we've selected and tap the Start button. In a matter of seconds, PDF Element will have converted the image to PDF. But before we go any further, pay special attention to this button here. This is the PDF Element Optical Character Recognition or OCR tool. And with this, we'll convert all the text in our document into digital, editable text just like a regular text file. Once you have initiated the OCR process, simply await PDF Element to complete the task. You can track its progress from the Tasks tab. Typically, this process takes only a few seconds. And once you're finished, you'll have a new PDF file with fully editable text. Now, if you look at the bottom, you'll find a toolbar with which you can make annotations on your document, such as adding shapes, notes, underlining, striking through, or highlighting text. But that's just the beginning. By expanding the menu at the bottom of the screen, you can access dozens of other tools organized by their purpose. For example, selecting the Edit PDF Tools category will unlock the ability to modify or delete elements from the document, as well as add new ones. Creating a PDF from a physical document is incredibly easy, isn't it? Now, let's talk about the Microsoft Office files. On the screen, you're seeing three documents. The first is an Excel spreadsheet. The second is a Word document. And the third is a PowerPoint presentation. Let's see what happens if I try to open these documents using iOS native visualizing tools. Upon opening the Word document, I encountered a couple of significant issues. Firstly, there were absolutely no page breaks. Now, you might think that's not a big deal, but trust me, it made it incredibly difficult to figure out where one page ended and the next began. Imagine trying to reference specific sections or make revisions when you can't even tell which page you are on. But that's not all. The second issue was even worse. The charts were missing. These weren't just any charts. They were crucial to understanding the content. So even if I tried to soldier on without the page breaks, the missing charts made it practically impossible to make sense of anything. Moving on to the Excel file, I discovered that it doesn't appear to be compatible at all. It's as if the iOS native visualizer doesn't support the file format. Lastly, when I opened the PowerPoint presentation, I found something quite hilarious. The colors have been completely distorted, as if my background template's colors were completely desaturated. So, all those problems I just showed you are quite common and they happen because different software doesn't always work together. Fortunately, converting your documents into PDFs solves those problems and prevents them from happening again. It's like a quick fix that makes things easier for you and anyone else you share your documents with. The first step is to move our Microsoft Office files into a folder within the PDF Element workspace. Then navigate to the Tools tab and select the appropriate tool from the Convert to PDF section that corresponds with the file type you want to use to create a PDF. 
In a matter of seconds, PDF Element will have created a PDF that accurately displays the content of your document. What you see on the screen is a side-by-side -side comparison between the PDF I just created and what the native iOS viewer displayed when opening the original document. As you can see, converting the Word document to PDF definitely solved the issue. After applying the same procedure to my remaining two documents, I was finally able to open my spreadsheet seamlessly and ensure the colors in my PowerPoint presentation were accurately restored. So there you have it, the two new ways to effortlessly create PDFs directly on your iPhone. These methods will not only help you overcome compatibility issues, ensuring that files that couldn't even be opened in the native iOS viewer can now be easily accessed, but they also streamline your document management process. By converting your documents into PDFs, you're embracing simplicity and user friendliness. Whether you're converting images or other file formats to PDF, you'll enjoy the convenience of having all your documents in one accessible format. And the best part is you can get started right away by downloading the PDF Element app from the App Store. With its intuitive interface and seamless integration with your iPhone, you'll experience a hassle-free document creation and management process. Thank you for staying with me to the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. I will continue bringing you many more videos with tips and tricks to make your work easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel. There you'll find many more helpful videos just like this one. Have a great day and see you next time.